All right, the weather's changing, getting mild now. Yes, that's true. We had a really nice day today. Warm temperatures. We're going to stay that way at least through about Sunday, all and right. then it all goes right back downhill. Cooler go. temperatures will be moving in. Let's take a look at this afternoon's highs. We were near 70 today, Ooh. and deep east Texas, Lufkin actually made it to 70. 67 Nacogdoches. The farther north you go, you notice the temperatures just a little bit lower, but we will take this over everything that we have dealt with through most of this week. Cloudy skies, rain, some of the snow showers that we had come through early on Thursday morning and then the sun coming out yesterday afternoon. Today really has been nice. Just a few high clouds in the sky, but temperatures are warmer by at least almost 10 to 15 degrees in some areas compared to where we were at this time yesterday evening. Everybody above freezing right now. The coldest spot up in Cass County at 35 in Linden, Palestine at 46, 44 Nacogdoches now, 44 in Hemphill, 40 one the temperature in Mineola. So tomorrow morning, lower 30s and even a few upper 20s, a light freeze and a frost, but a nice day tomorrow as temperatures climb up into the lower 60s. Here comes Sunday, though increasing clouds and that will generate some rain. Maybe a couple of light showers Sunday afternoon, but I think it holds off until Sunday evening into Sunday night. That's when our better chance of rain along with a cold front, even a few thunderstorms will be possible at that point. Let's look at it with future cast. So here's your Saturday. Just a few clouds are going to come into play. Breezy southeast wind into the afternoon. That wind will hold up, which means temperatures on Sunday morning into the lower 50s and that wind will get stronger into the day on Sunday. There are the clouds that will be with us into Sunday afternoon. Most of the day Sunday is just fine. And then Sunday evening, Sunday night, scattered showers and some thunderstorms will pick up. That's going to be associated with this cold front that's going to move through. And notice what happens here with this area of rain. We get one batch and some cooler temperatures, but then another wave of rain will increase on Monday afternoon and Monday evening. That batch will come through and we're still not done. Another wave of energy will come in and generate more showers. This is on Tuesday. This is going to continue all the way into early Thursday morning. We have the potential to see some much needed beneficial rainfall, but maybe a concern for some flooding if we see amounts that are reaching two plus inches. That's what Futurecast shows through next Thursday over into Louisiana. It's likely to be three or four inches plus. Maybe for us, we could get up to three inches in some locations. We'll be fine tuning that over the next few days, but certainly count on wet weather, gloomy weather to return next week. So that means enjoy tomorrow with the sun. And then on Sunday, clouds will start to pick up. And here comes the rain Sunday night, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, temperatures also into the 50s. Thursday, the rain will let up. And then for next Friday for Valentine's Day, not looking too bad. Deep East Texas dry tomorrow. Sunny. And then we get some rain picking up on Sunday evening. And then here it comes beginning Monday. And Friday, once again, don't forget Valentine's Day. That's right. Fellows, don't forget Valentine's Day.